Hi super fanners, today we are looking at my dinosaurs that start with the letter D. In the box here you can see Dacentrurus, Dasbetosaurus, Daxiotitan, Dinochirus, Diabloceratops, Delong, Dilophosaurus, Dimetrodon, Dimorphodon, Diplodocus, Dalecorincops, Dracorex and Dunkleosteus. And here is Dacentrurus. Dacentrurus lived during the late Jurassic period. It was a heavily built quadrupedal herbivore with two rows of small plates on its neck and two rows of longer spikes along its tail. The tail spike had sharp cutting edges on its front and rear side. Dacentrurus was a large stegosaurid growing up to lengths of 26 feet and weighing up to 5 tons. It lived in various parts of Europe. Its name means tail full of points. Dasplitosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. As an apex predator, prey would have included hadrosaurs of the time and ceratopsids. Dasplitosaurus is closely related to the much larger and more recent Tyrannosaurus. Like most Tyrannosaurids, it was a large bipedal predator equipped with dozens of large, razor sharp teeth. Dasplitosaurus had the small forelimbs typical of Tyrannosaurids, although slightly longer. They could reach a length of up to 30 feet. Daxia Titan lived during the early Cretaceous period. It was a huge titanosaur with enormously long neck and a small head and medium sized tail. Its big heavy body may have been protected by some bony armoured plates. You can see a few osteoderms along the back there. It lived in northwestern China and grew to about 69 feet long. Fossils have been found including several neck vertebrae a shoulder blade and a thigh bone. This model shows the front feet to have toe claws. You can see small osteoderms on the tail and larger ones on the body. Dinochirus lived during the late Cretaceous period. Its arms were eight feet long with large blunt claws on its three fingered hands. The legs were relatively short and bore blunt claws. Dinocaris is thought to have been an omnivore. Its skull shape indicates a diet of plants, although fish scales and bones were found amongst gastroliths in a specimen's stomach. The large claws may have been used for digging and gathering plants, as well as possibly defense. You can see that the mouth is a toothless beak with a large tongue, which would have helped Dinocaris forage for food on the bottom of shallow lakes and rivers. The body is covered with a thin layer of downy feathers. It could grow to 36 feet long, weighing 6 tons. Fossils have been found in Mongolia. Diabloceratops lived during the late Cretaceous period. It is an extinct genus of Centrosaurian ceratopsian dinosaur that lived in what is now Utah in the United States. Diabloceratops was a medium sized, moderately built ground dwelling quadrupedal herbivore that could grow up to an estimated 18 feet long. The Spanish word Diablo means devil, a reference to the horns on the neck shield and the word ceratops meaning horned face. Diablo ceratops was built like a typical ceratopsian in that it had a large neck frill made of bone. It had a small horn on the nose and perhaps a second horn in front of that. And here's another one. You can see there is a pair of relatively small horns above the eyes. The skull is deeper and shorter than that of any other Centrosaurians. Upon the frill it also has a pair of very long spikes like Styracosaurus. The area where these dinosaurs lived included lakes, floodplains, rivers with a wet seasonal climate approximately 79 million years ago. Here is Delong. It lived during the early Cretaceous period in western China. Delong grew to about six and a half feet long. It had a covering of simple feathers or proto feathers. The feathers were found in fossilized skin impressions from near the jaw and tail. They were most likely used for warmth, not flight. Its name means Emperor Dragon. 
I can see four Dilophosaurus here. It's a genus of theropod dinosaur. It lived in the early Jurassic period. Dilophosaurus was amongst the largest carnivores of its time, about 20 feet long, and it had a pair of rounded crests on its skull, which were used for display purposes. It ate smaller plant-eating dinosaurs. It had quite short arms, with three-fingered hands, and strong legs with four-toed feet. Here's another one. One of the toes on the feet was a dew claw. Both fingers and toes had claws. It had hollow bones and an S-shaped curved neck. Dilophosaurus roved in packs. It was a relatively fast runner, leaving bird-like footprints on land. Fossils have been found in Arizona, USA. Dimetrodon is an extinct genus of synapsid that lived during the early Permian period, about 295 to 272 million years ago. Dimetrodon is often mistaken for a dinosaur, but it went extinct some 40 million years ago before the first appearance of dinosaurs. Dimetrodon is assigned to a group traditionally called mammal-like reptiles or stem mammals or non-mammalian synapsids. The most prominent feature of Dimetrodon is the large cell on its back, formed by elongated spikes extending from the vertebrae. It was a herbivore that walked on four legs and had a tail. Curved skull with large sharp teeth of different sizes set along the jaws. Most fossils have been found in the southwestern part of the United States. The cell of Dimetrodon may have been used to stabilize its spines or to heat and cool its body as a form of thermoregulation or to attract mates. Dimorphodon was a genus of medium-sized pterosaur from the early Jurassic period. Its name means two-formed tooth, referring to the fact that it had two distinctive types of teeth in its jaws. This flying reptile had a four-foot wingspan. It had a huge head with deep, wide tooth jaws that looked like the beak of the modern-day puffin. Notice it has a short neck and a diamond-shaped flap of skin at the end of the long pointed tail. Notice how Dimorphodon's legs sprawled out at the sides, making walking quite difficult and clumsy. Dimorphodon may have spent much of its non-flying time hanging from cliffs or tree branches, holding on with its toe claws. Dimorphodon was a carnivore and probably ate fish. It flew well using its large lightweight wings and its long thin tail with a diamond shaped flat would have helped stabilize it in flight. Dimorphodon fossils have been found in England. Diplodocus lived in the late Jurassic period and its name means double beamed. It was a herbivore that most likely ate conifers, other seed ferns and mosses with its blunt peg like teeth in the front of its jaws. It could swallow plant material whole and then swallowed gastroliths to aid digestion. It was 90 feet long with a 26 foot long neck and a 45 foot whip like long tail. It may have weighed only about 10 to 20 tons. Its head was less than 2 feet long with nostrils at the top of the head. 
It was amongst the longest land animals ever. It was among the longest land animals ever. Its front legs were shorter than its back legs. It had elephant-like legs with five-toed feet. And here's the mini. The long neck may have been used to forage for food in forests that would have been inaccessible due to its massive size and also poking into wetlands to get mosses and ferns where they could stand on firm ground. Sauropod lifespans may have been to the order of 100 years. Diplodocus could not hold their head above 17 feet off the ground. It had a row of spines running down its back. Its backbone had extra bones giving it its name Double Beam. These would help support and move its neck and tail. It may have used its whip-like tail for protection. Notice the large thumb claw. Dolly Corincops is a short-necked plesiosaur from the late Cretaceous period. Its name means long-nosed face. It grew up to 15 feet long. It used its long paddle-like flippers to move quickly through the water. Their large eyes helped them spot prey. Long narrow jaws filled with 30 to 40 sharp teeth in a single row allowed Dolly Corrin cops to grab its prey but not cut it. Fish and squid were swallowed whole. They needed to surface to breathe air. Their biggest predator was the giant mosasaur Tylosaurus. Draco Rex lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a pachycephalosaur or bone-headed dinosaur. Its name means Dragon King. It was a medium-sized dinosaur and grew to about 13 feet. It had three toed feet. It was a herbivore that lived in the woodlands of North America. It is easy to recognize by its long, thick, flat skull with spiked horns, bumps and a long muzzle. This is another Draco Rex, and you can see on this model it shows it had osteoderms. Again the same long thick flat skull with the spiked horns and the long muzzle. Dunkleosteus is an extinct genus of Arthrodia placoderm fish. It existed during the late Devonian period about 380 to 360 million years ago. It was a heavy armoured fish. It could grow to 11 and a half feet long and had large scissor-like cutting jaws with serrated razor sharp bones but no teeth. Its skull was over two feet long and it had a jointed neck and an eel-like tail. No scales but a type of armour made of hinged body shields. It ate fish, sharks and even its own kind. And here you can see all my dinosaurs, flying reptiles, marine reptile and fish gathered at the watering hole. I didn't realise there were so many starting with the letter D. Thank you for watching my video. Stay on for lots more dinosaur videos right here on Super Fun Reviews. See you again soon. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.